Jesus your son will be and I never see I never see God will amaze you God will surprise you in the name of Jesus now you want to turn up a few minutes first Peter 5 verse 10 the Bible says that the God of all grace who had called us into his eternal glory by Christ Jesus. After that ye have suffered a while, make you perfect, establish, strengthen, and settle you. Tonight is a night of settlement. You don't hear me. Tonight is a night of settlement. God will settle you. I say, God will say to you, say, my father, my father, I thank you because you will say to me tonight. Pray in the mighty name of Jesus. God, I thank you because you will say to me tonight. God, I thank you because you will say to me tonight. God, I give you glory because you will say to me tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Father. In Jesus mighty name we pray don't joke with this prayer because the man of God will be coming and God will be using him in many dimensions but what I know is that tonight God will say to you I say God will say to you in the mighty name of Jesus some people are here they are not here with, with their faith but I refuse to go back today Without being set to you. Today, God will set to us. Say, My Father, my Father, 
My life is available. Set to me tonight by fire. Pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God, set to me tonight by fire. Father, set to me tonight by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord, set to me tonight. Holy Ghost, set to me tonight. Jesus, set to me, set to me tonight. Oh Lord, set to me tonight. Oh Lord, set to me tonight. Oh Lord, set to me tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. I'm going higher. Yes, I am. I'm going higher today. I'm going higher. Yes, I am. Only Jesus to say. I'm going above the shadow. Into the presence of God. Into the presence of Jesus. I'm going Amen. That song is not just a song. I'm telling you, somebody is changing level today. It's not tomorrow. It's a night of settlement. It's a new dawn. I'm going aya, yes, aya. I'm going aya today. I'm going aya, yes, aya. Only Jesus to say, I'm going above the shadow into the presence of God, into the presence of Jesus. I'm going, I'm going higher today. I'm going higher today. I'm going higher today. Holy Ghost, I'm going higher today. Holy Ghost, I'm going higher today. 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 Holy Ghost, I'm going higher today. Holy Ghost, I'm going higher today. 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 Holy Ghost. I'm going higher. Power of God. I'm going higher today. I'm going higher today. I'm going higher today. Holy Ghost. I'm going higher. Holy Ghost. I'm going higher today. Holy Ghost. Take us higher. Take us higher. I'm going higher. Take us higher. Take us higher. I'm going higher. Holy Ghost. Power of God. Jesus, now I'm going higher today. I'm going higher today. I'm going higher today. 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 Yes. Yes, it's today. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Take us higher. Take us higher. Oh my God. 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 Leko Toma Shakata. You are going to shout several times. Power of elevation fall upon me. At the count of one, two, three, you are going to shout power of elevation fall upon me. One, two, three, go. Power of elevation. Fall upon me now. 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 Power of elevation. Holy Ghost. Let the power fall now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Reko Sokotolia. Begin to talk to God now. Lord, elevate me. Elevate me. Lord, elevate me. Elevate me. Tonight, elevate me. Ayaka sekete. Roko sokoto manakata. Hey, shakata. Lebra kosoto brakasata. Elakata manamanosa. Lekoto masakata. Holy Ghost. Elevate me tonight. Holy Ghost. Elevate me tonight. 
Holy Ghost, elevate me tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Hayako Sokoto, nobody. Every spirit has no progress attached to my love and destiny. Catch fire, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, every spirit has no progress attached to my life and destiny. Catch fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name we pray. I decree in the mighty name of Jesus, every spirit of slow progress, oh yeah, catch fire. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Have your seat, God bless you. Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. I want us to rise. This is not um, a time for ministration. This is a time we want to worship our king. We can never worship him enough. Let's rise on our feet. Be worship you, we reverence you, Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. Jericho, Mofi Bobo, Pemi Pua, Mofi Bobo, Pemi Pua, Shepi Walo Lano, Sorioku, Shataya Malane. Shepi wala wodi Jericho Mo fi bogbo pe mi puo Shatae ana manana Mo fi bogbo pe mi puo Shatae Hands up 
so broad, wide as the sky. We lift you high. We lift you high. Hands up, hearts open, wide as we cry. God will lift your name high. Let every other name fade away. Let every other name fade away. Till that's only you. Let every other name fade away. Can we jam our hands together for Jesus? Please, 
Have your seat. Please have your seat. Now, let me ask you if you have been here from Monday. I was day one. I was day two. I was day three. All right. I'm not hearing you, though. I was day three. Now, so every day of this um, five days has been has been unique in its own way. And today, mm, we will see what we will see. Like Daddy Joe will always say, we have a great man of God in the house. I'm waiting for them to bring up his profile video. But before that, he's an author. Among many things, they will tell you. He has his book here. I wish my parents were not preachers. Um, you need to read this book. It just goes for a thousand naira. We only really have about 15 copies. And it's not taking any copy back. Um, the ushers are with the copy of the book. Can you get a copy for yourself? And the Lord will bless you as you do so in Jesus' name. Guys, I'm ready. Pastor Bala On Oshinawo, Eastern Resident Pastor of the Upper Room Baptist Church. Can we he is a minister of the gospel, an intense worshiper, a teacher, and a prayer warrior for the Holy Spirit. He is the gentleman. Pastor Bala On Oshinawo, Eastern Resident Pastor of the Upper Room Baptist Church. He is a minister of the gospel, an intense worshiper, a teacher, and a prayer warrior for the Holy Spirit. He is the convener and the convener and the prayer a group of male Christians from different denominations who gather together to pray and take over their God-given positions in their homes, church, and the nation. Pastor Bola On has authorized various books. Notable among them is a book titled, I Wish My Parents Is Not a Preacher. This addresses the peculiarity and impeculiarity of growing in a clergy home. It serves as a guideline for preachers and their children as it reveals the balance between family and ministry. He is blessed and happily married. Join me with Jesus' joy in our hearts and a resounding ovation as we make welcome. Can we Pastor rise on our feet as Bola. we make welcome Pastor Balawo Shinawa? As it's going to be mightily used by the Lord tonight. Can you do it together for Jesus? Someone's life is about to shift. Hallelujah. Okay, if you are doing that for me, I think it's too big. But if you are doing that for the King of Kings, I believe you will do better. You are doing it for the King of Kings. I mean for the Lord of Lords, your Father, the Maker of heaven and earth. Come on, give it to Jesus if you can. Celebrate Jesus is worthy to be praised. Your hands, all you people, make a joyful noise to the Lord. Make a joyful noise to the Lord. A joyful noise. A joyful noise to the Lord. A joyful noise to the Lord. Joyful noise. Joyful shout. 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 Shout to the Lord. All the people of the Lord. Shout to him is worthy to be praised. Yabakata, Alekos Enda Bakina Tayida da Malikata Kanda Badaba. Lift up your head, all you gates, and be lifted up, you everlasting door, that the King of Glory shall come in. King of Glory, the Lord strong, you are the one I'm talking to. Tap the person I say I'm talking to you. A new me is about to emerge. If you are part of us, let your amen sound like fire. The louder your amen, the louder your testimony. The louder your amen, the louder your testimony. Somebody shout the loudest amen. Amen. Hear me, child of God. Amen is not an encouragement to the preacher. Amen is an heavenly verdict that as he has said it, so shall it be. Amen. Hold on. Hold on. 
I have come before everybody but I have not been sent to everyone how I wish I'm sent to everyone I'm telling you the truth how I wish I'm sent to everyone but there are some spe there are some sp there are some specific people here that I know that your life will not remain the same if that prophecy looks like your own, shout the loudest, amen. I want to celebrate Jesus for this great opportunity. Oh, holy him is worthy to be praised. Help me to celebrate Jesus. He's worthy to be praised. Of course, I want to celebrate our Father in the Lord, the General Vasya of our Redeem, Christian Church of God. Can you celebrate our Father? Amen. Amen. Pastor Binga, I can't. I don't even know how to describe Pastor Binga. I'm telling you the truth. Don't describe him. Just look him. <laughs> you know, this is not right from school. I've been hearing about Pastor Binga through Pastor Pastor Kayo Deshi too. You know, you keep on. I said one day, shall I will meet this pastor Benga. You know, when I finally finally met him, I'm telling you the truth. He's a man that has passion for God. He's not. I'm telling you the truth. I'm telling you the truth. And I want to celebrate you, sir. I celebrate what God is doing here. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. This is great. This is great. And I pray that the Lord will continue to increase you, sir. Amen. I celebrate you, Mama. I celebrate you. I celebrate every worker in this house. I don't take workers for granted. If you are a worker, you belong to this church. Celebrate yourself. Celebrate yourself. Amen. You see, the last time I came, okay, there was the first time I came here, I came with Pastor Joy Hode, who happened to be my mother, my mentor, right from school. And that was the first time I came. The second time I left me to celebrate my mentor. <laughs> Amen. The second time I came was through the birthday of uh, Pastor Tuji. Uh, Pastor, did you happen to be my vice president when I was in school in House CF? So I was here for his 48th birthday. And when I came today, I just saw a new thing. I was like, Pastor, what I saw the last time I came is different from what I'm seeing now. God will bless you. Amen. And God will make his face shine upon you. Amen. How many of us know that our God is worthy to be praised? afraid of what God wants to do in this place. I was preaching for Pastor Wally some weeks back and while I was preaching the Lord just told me he said there is a woman here that before she left home she was saying God I want you to meet me at the point of my need. And I had and I saw the woman right in the congregation. I went to meet her. I said, this is what God said about you. That the Lord said, you pray that he should meet you at the point of my knee. You see, as I said that, the woman started crying. And she started crying. He said, sir, everything you said was true because she was sick. I know there are people in this meeting that are saying God I want to see you. 
I wanted to change my story. But I have come to tell you that the Lord will hear your prayer. Amen. I'm not here for, I know, celebrate all the minister of God. They are, sub, they, are, they are even fathers that have come ahead before now. I celebrate them. Me, we are going to pray. So get ready to pray. And let me tell you, something is going to happen that even you, even you will be shocked by what God will do. In the mighty name of Jesus. It is five days of glory. And you know where there is glory? Rejection can't stay there. Anywhere there is glory, you can't find rejection there. How many of you know that? Anywhere that there is there anyone here called Emeka? Anyone in this place called Emeka? The Emeka. Emeka and Emeka. Is anyone in this place bearing that name? You see, I was preaching for Pastor Kayode Shitu. And why was I was I, I was I was the word the name just came and said there is a girl here. I just had his her name. And she came, and you know what the funny thing about that? She said that she doesn't she was not planning to come for service. And that same girl, that same day, there is a trap that was set for her. That ah, all what she needs is to fall into that trap, and that, that will be the end. And because she was in service, I was preaching in somewhere in, in Akure, and I, God gave me a name of a woman, a lady, and I mentioned the name. And as God will help me, God said the person is actually sick. There was a girl in the congregation, she jumped out and said, My mother is called this name, she has been on sick bed. When God will be passing you by today, touching lives, the Lord will locate you. Amen. You see, let me tell you, the name I had is Emeka and Hineka. That every piece of the enemy that I have done for you, that the enemy will fall into it by themselves. Amen. Maybe your brother is, you know, somebody told me, he said that name is my colleague. He said, my colleague has been going through hell. He said the funny thing, I invited her to come for this meeting. She was not there. And God is merciful. The word of God still shall search for her. The word of God will search for you. Amen. Where there is glory, rejection can't stay there. Anywhere that there is glory, there is no way you can witness rejection. Hear me, child of God, every form of rejection in your life the fire of God will consume them tonight. I thought your amen would be louder than this. I said the fire of God will consume them. In the name of Jesus. Everyone with any filthy garments. You have been, see, let me tell you. You may be wearing designer cloth physically. But what they call you in the spiritual realm is who you are. Yeah, listen. Your reality is not this physical thing. The spiritual control the physical. A guy, a lady said, how come everyone that sees me always run away from me? And by the time we lay our hand upon her, what we were seeing was a girl with rags. She was looking like a mad woman. But she was designerly dressed as in she wear designer, but in the spiritual realm. Hear me, every form of hatred that have been allowing people to move far away from you, if you can say amen, the fire of God will consume that thing now. In the name of Jesus, the fire of God will consume it. In the name of Jesus, whatever that is not God, whatever that is not God in your life, in your destiny, the Lord arise today and change them. Amen. Somebody shout glory. glory. You know, I want to focus more on the shining star, on the shining glory. 
Because I know where there is glory, rejection. See, I know some people that I saw in this meeting. Those that have been hitting from dustbin. I saw a guy, you had a dream, you were eating from dustbin. Another set of people, you saw yourself, they were feeding you with something that you don't want. Your deliverance is tonight. Yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I say your deliverance is tonight. Yeah. Sound the loudest, amen. Yeah. Lift up your right hand and say, oh Lord, my Father. Oh, Lord, my Father. I can't hear you. Oh, Lord, say, oh Lord, my Father. Everything in my life that is not planted by you, Father, let your fire consume them in the name of Jesus. I want to hear your voice. Raise your voice, Dr. God. Pray, pray. Ela shabakata yaga, e ya bala bakata, e shadeko, e maliado shabakata, e shadabadaba. Oh Lord, my God, in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Say by fire, by force, I can hear you. Say by fire, by force, every power. Tie down my glory. Lose me now. And let me go. By fire. Let me go. By fire. Are you praying? Or you are joking? Thank you, sir. Can you stop? I want to hear you praying. Abakata yoko. Ela shada da 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 bakata. Ayabakada da da da. Come and talk to God. It's a prayer conference. Your glory must be retrieved back. Agabakata Yakata. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. The louder your amen, you enter your glory. I said the louder your heaven, you enter your glory. In the name of Jesus. Say my father, my maker. My father, my maker. Listen, pastor sir, I, uh, oh my God. I don't want to go into something. Pastor, I saw a scripture from the book of Second Kings, chapter 11. Bible spoke about...
Somebody say fire, fire, fire. So fire. Say fire. I am delivered by fire. By fire. By fire. By fire. I am delivered by fire. So fire. I enter into my glory. I possess my possession by fire. Shout seven louder, say amen. 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 Every power sit on the glory of your life. My Lord and my Father, anywhere you can hear a louder amen, let them be dethroned by fire. I said the Lord arise and dethrone them. The Lord remove them by fire, by fire, by fire. The Lord remove them in the name of Jesus. Shout to the Lord and say amen. Wago Adurami Bamishe Lift up your two hands to the Lord Wago Adurami Bamishe Wago Adurami Are you coming? Lift up your two hands to the Lord Lift up your hands to the Lord. Holy Ghost is here. Lift up your hands to the Lord. Are you ready for God tonight? Are you ready for God tonight? Yeah, Lift up your hands to the Lord. Lift up your hands to the Lord. The Lord is here. The Holy Ghost is here now. Papa Kata. Cavalry Sami Dotu. Oh, 
Hallelujah. the Lord. The Lord is here already. The Lord is here. The Lord is here already. Stony glory is about to be restored. Every glory that I've been stolen, there is a massive restoration tonight. Hey! Amen. Lift up your hands to the Lord. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Amen. You see, I just saw a vision. Oh my. Of someone's glory being covered. But as we are singing that song, what they used to cover, it just blew away. Listen, I know what I'm saying. I know what I'm talking about. You see, power that have not allowed you to live your glory. See, listen. We are, are we streaming online? So people are watching online. All right. So that will restrict me of some information. Lift up your two hands. You see, a woman gave back to four children, three boys and one lady, one girl. And the woman felt that this girl came with so much glory, that is too much. And the other boys just are very. So the woman felt that this one is too much for a lady to have. I'm not telling you, thank you. I left my, I left my kid. He felt that, Pastor, I see massive restoration of glory in this place. Yeah. There are some people here, you think you are collecting money, you have not seen money. Oh. I just heard the Lord saying that. He said, because your financial is going to be in different currencies. Yeah. Different currencies. Yeah. And you know what? The mother felt that a woman, a lady, should not be carrying this kind of glory. And she took the girl somewhere. And after they did that, they collected and gave it to the boys. When they grew up, they were staying on the island. This girl, when it was time, the comment the mother made was that as long as she does not get married, she will remain the way they want her to be. But the girl, the lady, finds something to her own situation. As God will have it, she, got, she was about to get married. A week to when she wanted to get married, she just left. And when she woke up, she can't move her two legs. And they said, did they want to cancel the wedding? The wedding date has been fixed. But they said they can't cancel it. He said, let go. So she was on a wheelchair when they did the wedding. So they thought things would change. 
that she will start working. Things will change for her. Nothing changed. It was difficult. It was becoming difficult. The case was, you know, this girl, this lady wrote all the exam. She has international certificate, certification. But she is just in one place. She's, she's in one of these banks and they were giving her little money. During the COVID, we had this online prayer and somebody, a mother, look at it, a mother told her that there is some, let me tell you, mother here, I just saw a woman crying over one of each, over her children. A particular child of yours is making you cry. When you look at that child, you have pain. The Lord is saying that he's repairing that child. Amen. He said that same child will become greatness. Amen. Okay. Who is that person? I want to pray for you. You have a particular child. Come. You are the first set of people I'm praying for. Come close. Come close. You have a particular child and he's giving you issue. You cry over that child. Uh, if you are not the one that made that child and the maker, say that I'm going to make greatness out of that child. You hear me, ma? That same child. Greatness is... I was expecting you. Pastor, I want to be gentle in this church. Because I saw her. I saw her. I was preaching for a church in Surulere. Pastor, things happened. I was on the altar. And while I was on the altar, I saw a lady in the congregation. I just saw cobwebs all over her. And I wanted to, I left the altar. And I watched, and finally I said, me, I have seen you. <laughs> because you know something, the person, the pastor that invited me, is a friend. And when my friend's body is taken off, my body too is taken off. He says, she's a the girl, she's a worker. You know, people know how to say to criticize pastor. And say pastor is not praying. Uh, and by the time I walk to her, I say, ah, for the fact that you did, you are praying in your heart that I should not come to see you. And I'm going to blow the thing up. I'm going to say everything here. I said, last week, God showed me that you committed abortion. I said, because I was, when I saw the cobwebs, God said, ask her. She committed abortion last week. He said, by herself, she attracted those things to herself. You can't be in the spiritual cobwebs and expect progress. It's not possible. And you are now, so that it will not be exposed. Me, I was not, I was not gentle that day. I exposed everything. And you know what? She was crying. He said, sir, yes, I was praying in my heart that I don't want you to come and come me out. In my church, he also, I'm always trying to just so that I don't lose people. <laughs> my workers. <laughs> there was one that was coming from a, girl, a man's house on a Sunday morning. From one man's house and he was coming. I was preaching on the altar and she was coming. And I said, ah, they have finished using you, and you are still coming. <laughs> I did not mention him. And after the service, I didn't go to meet her. It was some weeks after she came. I said, Pastor, my conscience is not. I said, what happened now? I, I didn't offend you. We are fine. Everybody is fine. He said, you mentioned my case. I said, when did I mention? He said, that day that you said I'm, uh, they have finished using you. You are coming from. I said, ah, me, did I mention your name? I did not he said, Pastor, I know I'm the more I was by herself she confessed. <laughs> uh, you know, I have to tell, let me slow this down so that I, I can still have friends. I'm telling you. People, you can have Pastor K. People. There was one girl in in one of the redeem. You say I preach in redeem, so forget. All those ones that you read, you forget. Redeem is everything to me. So and I called her case because she felt that she was in choir. And she sat down in there. And when she sat down, hey, Pastor, I have not checked the word though. 
I will still find a way to check it. So the pastor won't say that this guy just come and he did not check the word. You know, some people are very deputy Holy Spirit. <laughs> if you don't check the word, you have not done anything. And I've been praying since the day the pastor said I'm coming. I've been praying. When the pastor called me this afternoon, I said, We want to re- remind me of what? I don't need a reminder. Except if I if God did not say, let's go. That's when I, but I know that, come, I need. That girl came and her case, she, because she felt she was in choir, she just sat down there. I mean, I did not do anything. I just prayed for those. That's why it started by saying I was not sent to everybody. I'm sent to specific people. And by the time I finished, I jumped into my car. I want to start going. She came before the car and said, sir, it was my kid, as you called that day. You called. And I was not even, because we have seen a lot of that. People, but I want to place my hand upon her. The Lord said, don't put. Don't place your hand. He said, that time of grace has left. He said, and this thing that she was going through, she has been going through for a long time. He said, she was one of the reasons why I sent you to that church. I remember a case. Pastor K, it was Pastor K. I go to Pastor K's church, very well. you know, he's my friend. So, a boy came and he said, they said, after me, Pastor, please pray for me. I, I lay my hand and I pray for him. And the Lord said, come, what is happening? That, I, that they have been struggling. Their things have been tight for them. He said, yes. He said, but the Lord said, there is a baby coming for you and your whole wife. He said, by the bed, at the bed of that baby, once this baby show up in the world, everything will break out. God said the name of that baby shall be called Shino Ayo. Because it's going to make way. It was like the prophecy of Jesus. And the boy, the man, the guy, what that boy of mine, he's a youth, yeah? And he started crying. I said, bros, why are you crying? He said, oh, sir, let me quickly run into the church and call my wife. And she ran in. She brought her wife. By the time she brought her wife, he said, sir, please repeat what you said about us. And I repeated it. Both of them started crying. The guy that went with her, I said, Pastor, what did you tell this group that they are crying? I said, I don't know. I said, guys, why are you guys, why are you crying? He said, sir, you said the boy will be called Shino. I said, that is what God said. He said, we aborted the pregnancy last week. I said, you did what? You can ask him. You can ask him. I said, you did what? You did what? You aborted what? They say, Pastor, what do I do? I say, I don't know. I be, what do I do? I say, I don't know. But you know something? I mean, why I was thinking, because I can't leave them. You know, Pastor, Pastor, work not be small thing. I'm telling you the truth, except some lazy pastor. The genuine pastor, we do everything possible to make sure their member is living right and everything is good for them. I go to mountain every month. Some of the prayer is for my members. And I said, God, we can't leave this. And the Lord told me, He said, when you get to a point that you don't know what to do, let that be an introduction of mercy. He said, call mercy. So I told them, fast and call mercy into this matter. Ah, hear this, I just had. Anyone that is up to marriageable age that is not married, get ready. Before the end of this month, they will fix you up. The Lord will fix you up. Your husband is coming. In the name of Jesus. And they shared the glory of the girl, the girl. And the girl was struggling. During the COVID, we had online meeting. And the mother said there is one pastor that my friend introduced. Why can't you let her pray for you? Let him pray for you. And he came during the COVID to meet me in redemption camp in my house. And by the time she came, she came on a wheelchair. After which she, she, she has been married for five years before that time. And I called some of my team that was staying within the camp. And I said, God, this girl 
this lady must walk, leave this my parlor with her two legs. She's, you know, the mother, the other, other siblings. Tiagba go one Shiriri, one Ramoto. One of them is walking with another. And we pray. She left our parlor with her feet. Walk. And that was not the only thing. Say, listen. That was not. Because she was walking. But she has been stagnant. I said, God, she must get her glory back. The same girl today got an international job, got another job in 